Item 8.1 is an action item, the revision adoption ordering of agenda. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. Dr. Rao, Mr. Nelson, any discussion? No, please vote. Item is 5-0 vote. Item 9.1 is an information item. R report the student representatives to the Board of Trustees in recognition of the 2018-19 student representative by the Board of Trustees. I believe that's me, so. Okay. Okay. Um, from CMI student representative, Cadet Captain, <clears throat> excuse me, Heather Abreese. Good evening, President Garcia, members of the board, superintendent, Mr. Bennett, and cabinet. Um, as you know, I am Heather Abreese. I'm a major now. I promoted. Um, this is unfortunately my last school board meeting. It's been a pleasure. I loved it. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. Um, so to go out, I have a bunch of awesome stuff that we've done. We're going to start with our parent college information night. It's so parents understand what college is like, how to apply, what their students need to know going in, like accepting Cal grants and accepting certain types of financial aid. Because I know that my mom went because she didn't get to go to college. So it's good for the parents that didn't get to go to college to understand how to help their kids go to college. And then we had our adolescent bullying awareness where um, Kaiser Permanente's educational theater came and educated middle schoolers about um, symptoms of bullying and how to address it, how to stop uh, people from bullying others and how to make sure that you're not bullying people on accident. We had our Cyber Patriots meet. They do it every month. They're fantastic. My good friends, they do really good. It's awesome stuff. Um, we had Castle, um, where we had some ASB students. They went and they had this fun youth leadership event where they got to have, like, they had like a big conference and everybody talked about leadership experiences and it's really good to build leadership in youth. Um, we had our open house. Um, I know some of you were there, and we are thankful for that. Um, we got to meet teachers and learn about what they've been working on through the school year and how they teach our students and opportunities for tutoring and events for the parents and teachers to really get to know one another and understand what's going on. We had our state drill competition. We had our very own Captain Katura Weeks place first in overall senior division in the state, so that was fantastic. Um, we had our Rotary SDYLC recognitions where students who went to the San Diego Youth Leadership Conference met with their sponsor and thanked them for the opportunity to grow in their leadership and go to this amazing camp. Um, we had our volunteer appreciation dinner where we invited parents and uh, school district people to come and be recognized for volunteering and helping us with all of our events because I know that we have a lot of volunteers helping at all of our stuff and we thank them for doing that. We give them certificates, pictures, everything. It was beautiful. Um, our Chinese three class, we had a field trip. It was very educational. Um, we, they went to the Shanghai Saloon, AKA the Dumpling Inn, and they ordered in Chinese. Um, we did a project on it back uh, last year in Chinese too, and it was really a chance to exercise that because at the um, restaurant, they only speak to you in Mandarin. So it was a good educational experience for them. They went to the 99 Ranch Market. We bought books in Chinese, and we're reading them. It's really cool. We had our pass interview. Um, you also know about that because some of you were there. And we had the change of command where we passed the command to Captain Rapallo. Um, it was beautiful. They looked nice. Uh, the weather was good. So I know in the past it's been a little hot, but it was good. So that was fantastic. Um, we had our college signing day for seniors where they, because a lot of them get a lot of awesome um, letters from colleges asking them to come to their schools. So they signed doing what colleges they want and those who are going to the military already have all that done. So it's perfect. It's wonderful. We had our beach cleanup where ASB and uh, web leaders went to a local beach and cleaned up because um, I know it's a big topic in the media, but um, the way we treat our environment isn't the best and global warming and all that's really bad and if we don't do something about it in the next 12 years it's going to be irreversible so I think it's good that the youth are going out and doing something about it. We had the IMAs where 
we had multiple of our cadets um, rank in the top three in their categories, so it's fantastic. The plaques are for first place, so two of ours won first place, and then um, Bodoya right there holding the medal, she earned second in her category. We had our Teacher Appreciation Day where we had members of the National Guard come and serve our teachers lunch as a way to thank them for all that they do, and it was a good social event. And finally, we had our annual powder puff game. It was really fun. I played for the juniors, but the seniors won, which is, is, is good for them, good for the morale, especially since we beat them back in freshman year, so it's okay, we're even. Um, but the score was 20 to 14, it was fantastic, it was really fun. The halftime show by our male cheerleaders was hilarious, fantastic, I loved it, so much fun. So, as a final farewell to all of you, I would like to introduce the one who will be succeeding me, Cadet Captain Montserrat Rapallo. Hello. Good evening once again, um, Cadet Captain Rapallo, and I will be the incoming commander for the 2019-2020 school year. I just want to say I'm excited for the, what the year will hold and what I will get to present to you guys in the incoming year. Thank you. I'm going to have uh, Cadet Major um, Abreese come back up, please. I just wanted to, uh, to uh, can thank you very much for everything you did. You said it was awesome, but you were awesome all year, giving us all the, all the announcements and everything. And so we just wanted to, in appreciation for everything you did this year, present you with this uh, certificate. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. It's been an honor. Yeah. Yeah. Next item is 9.2 CMITA President Mitchell Osborne. Nine point three principles update. Actually, uh, Captain Rapallo is going to be uh, entering boot camp this summer with National Guard. So we're very proud of her for doing that, and we wish you uh, success for doing that. Uh, dear board members, uh, Mr. President, Superintendent Bennett, and cabinet members, according to Program for a National Student Assessment, better known as PISA, uh, out of 64 countries that were ranked, uh, the U.S. ranked 27th in science and 35th in mathematics. I am, on the other hand, am excited to be part of a district that is a leader in the fight to strengthen the quality of instruction and support our teachers and administrators to help our students achieve at highest levels possible. At CMI, we are fully dedicated to do our part. That is why next year uh, we will offer courses to our students that are previously have not been available, such as AP Computer Science, uh, AP Human Geography, and courses in Engineering Pathways. In our effort to apply the uh, PLC model as designed and maximize benefits to students, we have restructured our weekly schedule, created an hour of opportunity time within the school day uh, that will ensure that all of our students are either receiving needed intervention or enrichment opportunities. Teachers will work collaboratively during their PLC time to analyze data and select students that they will be working with. We have also built in times during the week where all the students will be engaged in reading and literacy activities. We know that we can't do this work alone. And that is why we made a concerted effort this year to engage more parents uh, to work with us and partner with us. I am proud to report that our parent engagement data indicated a 20% increase uh, in parent participation this year. And that positive parental support also translated into minimal attrition rates for us at CMI. In fact, CMI has already reached uh, pretty much 100% enrollment capacity for next year. Uh, while we did achieve many positive results this year, we're not satisfied, 
and we're fully aware that to become great, we have much work to do. We are passionate about ensuring that not some, not most, but all students will find success at CMI. Just want to thank you for your presence this year and many of our events, our students and uh, teachers really appreciate you being there. I want to thank you for your guidance, leadership, and continued support of our amazing students and staff. And last, but by no means the least, I want to wish my uh, incredible principal colleagues at all of our amazing schools a safe and successful conclusion to this year. Thank you. Item 10.1 is the information item discipline for the month of April 2019 monthly suspension report. <clears throat> item 11.1, .1, invitation to address the Board of Trustees, non-agenda items. We have none, thank you. Thank you. Item 12.1, .1, consent calendar, is there a motion? So moved. Second. Mr. Stafford, Dr. Rao. Any discussion? Please vote. Twelve point one is a five zero vote. Item thirteen point one is an action item, personnel certificated personal action items. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. Mr. Nielsen, Mr. Freeman. Any discussion? Yeah, Mr. Stafford, I apologize. Let me go back and change that. <laughs> Any discussion? <laughs> Please vote. Discussion. Item 13.1 is a 5-0 vote. Item 13.2 is an action item, personnel approval resolution number four for the 1819, notice to release classified employee. So moved. Can I get a motion? I'm sorry. So moved. So moved. Second. Mr. Freeman and mm -hmm. Dr. Arell. And then Henry Ortega. Good evening, uh, members of the board. Uh, I want to thank you for your time again and for this opportunity to speak before you regarding the matter at hand, which is my employment. Uh, during last month's board meeting on April 17th, I expressed concerns regarding the proposal to terminate my employment with CMI and explained I had not heard back from Human Resources regarding my upcoming leave as my wife is due to deliver our baby boy on July 1st. On May 6th, I was called to a meeting with uh, Principal Milo and Assistant Superintendent Kirk Skopinik. So sorry, sir. So sorry. Um, Mr. Kirk uh, asked me how long it might take for me to find another job. My reply was that it can take from six months to a year, depending. Um, he explained that the plan is to have two IT technicians from the district to work at CMI if I were to lose my job. On May 8th, I sent an email to reaffirm that I was not only concerned with losing my benefits just before my wife is due, but that it is very important to me to maintain my position with CMI. Before today's board meeting, I realized the approval of resolution had been revised to terminate my position effective December 31st, 2019. Uh, since the plan is to have two IT technicians at CMI, I respectfully request this board allow me to maintain my position and if another technician is necessary to consider hiring on an additional technician. This way coverage would be provided when I utilize paid family leave in 2020. Um, thanks for your time and your understanding. Is there any discussion from the board? Mr. Freeman? No. Okay. Anybody else? Okay. At this time, uh, please vote.
Item 13.2 is a 5-0 vote. Item 13.3 is another action item. Uh, curriculum for the 2018-19 Safe Schools Plan annual update. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. Dr. Rao, and who was that? It was Dr. Freeman. And Dr. Freeman? Any discussion? None? Please vote. Item 13.3 is a 5-0 vote. Item 13.4 is another action item. Curriculum purchase agreement with Solution Tree Incorporated for Professional Development Services funded through the California Military Institute Local Control Accountability Plan Supplemental and Concentration Fund in the amount of $81,370.40. Is that right? Okay, just checking. Not the California Military Institute General Fund. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. Dr. Freeman, Dr. Rao. Any discussion? No? Please vote. <clears throat> Item 13.4 is a 5-0 vote. Item 14.1 is an information item. Other items by the superintendent? The only thing I'd like to add is um, I was I was able to go to the pass and review over at CMI. The kid, the students, cadets did a great job. Our commander, I, I, I don't know what rank you are, Major Abreeze, did a, did a wonderful job with the change of change of um, power with the new person coming in, and it was just a really nice day. And it's great to see the kids in all those uniforms doing such wonderful things. So we're proud of them over there at CMI. And that would conclude conclude my report. Thank you, Mr. Bennett. Item 15.1, other items by the Board of Trustees. Thank you, Mr. President. I just want to say thank you to all the staff at CMI. Congratulations to the students, to uh, our board representative. Welcome to the new board representative. And uh, uh, congratulations to all the students, and thank you for all the activities and the excellent job that you are doing, and especially during this month. I know that it's a, a lot of things, a lot of things going on. So excellent, and uh, we are planning to attend some of the, of the events during this month. Thank you. Again, I just want to reiterate what Dr. Arau said. Welcome. <laughs> uh, congratulations. Uh, congratulations to all of the CMI uh, students, especially the ones that are moving on to uh, the real world. I, I want to thank you all for everything that you've done. You're an inspiration to us for what we do, and uh, you're the reason why we're here. So I want you to know that, and CM CMI staff as well. Thank you all, and if you could please relay the message to everyone. We appreciate them, and I'll be seeing you guys soon. Uh, moving on. Item 16.1, adjournment of the regular meeting of the California Military Institute for May 15, 2019. Is there a motion? Second. Is that Mr. Freeman? No. I, I didn't hear. That was Mr. Mr. Nelson. <laughs> and my second? Dr. Rao. Dr. Rao. I'm sorry, guys. I can't hear. Okay. Is there any discussion? <laughs> Just checking. <laughs> Please vote. Item 16.1 is a 5-0 vote, and we will end the regular meeting of California Mil Military Institute for May 15, 2019 at 526 p.m.